Hi, I'm Mike Deming, host of Sportsman's News Television. Thanks for joining us. On this episode, I'm going to personally head to Northwestern Wyoming with one of our platinum approved outfitters and one of my really good friends, Justin Jarrett of Wapiti Ridge Outfitters. We're going to experience what he calls his town hunt, which means we're going to stay in the town of Cody in the world famous Buffalo Bill Cody Irma Hotel, doing day horseback trips into some gorgeous country for big mule deer. Stick around, going to be a great show. 5 a.m. Waiting out here for JJ. Go get us a Northwest Wyoming buck this morning. These late season November deer hunts are migration type hunts as there are thousands of deer coming out of the high country and into the low lying areas around Cody, Wyoming to breed and survive the long harsh winters. Each day is started around 5 a.m. with a 30 minute drive to the trailhead and then a scenic horse ride to some known travel routes of migrating deer. Deer will travel almost all day, so getting into a strategic vantage point and glassing for a shooter is the most successful way to see a lot of deer and harvest a trophy. These type of hunts are more a game of patience than physical ability, so they are a great way for an eastern hunter to wet his or her feet on the western mountains without being in top physical condition. Being able to shoot out to 500 yards greatly increases your chances of taking home the caliber of deer you're looking to harvest. It is not uncommon to see a hunter deer a day on one of these migration type hunts and you'll usually have to look at a lot of different bucks before you finally see one that you would like to put your tag on. Although JJ and I didn't find that specific buck today, we saw a lot of deer moving and several bucks, which is a good sign that the migration is in full swing and it's only a matter of time before we get our chance. Day two, we went to an entirely different area where one of the other guides had seen 20 plus bucks the day before. We were greeted by this young whitetail buck as the sun rose, but it was soon after that when I spotted this heavy horn three point at 800 yards and closing the distance fast. I usually have a dedicated cameraman on most hunts, but since JJ is very experienced at running a camera, I didn't feel the need for this specific trip. Unfortunately for me, JJ had left me alone to check another lookout spot where we had posted another hunter earlier in the day. This left me alone to shoot this buck and film it as well. As this buck got closer and closer, I was absolutely sure that he is something I wanted to put my tag on. He's an extremely heavy horned mature deer and I get more excited with every second that passes. Every time I get the camera set up in an area where I can see the deer on my camera, I can't get a position to shoot the buck prior to him moving out of my line of sight. And every time I'm ready to shoot, the deer moves out of the frame of the camera. We play this game of cat and mouse for 10 minutes before I get everything to finally line up. Super mature buck, just what I was looking for. He still hung up on there. I was trying to get a spot where I could set up and I could film and do this. JJ went down to check on another hunter here real quick, so I had to make all this happen on my own. That was super, super exciting. Let's go check out that buck. JJ's rounding up the horses right now. I'm gonna take off, go get this buck. Great thing about having horses. Pull that baby on the saddle horn, we can get out of here. He's done. <laughs> Could he have fell in a worse place? Really? 
Justin Jarrett's here with me. We uh, we got in yesterday, went riding the horses all around, looking for bucks. Couldn't find anything that was a shooter. You know, this morning we came into an area that's well known with these guys. He's hunted in here for almost 20 years. He knows these areas where these bucks migrate. And uh, we were all both getting a little bit cold. He went to go check on another hunter. So I ended up trying to shoot this buck or shooting this buck and getting him on film. So great buck. He's a big mature buck. Had four plus inch eye guards, a lot of mass, a lot of gnarling down here. You know what? JJ runs a fantastic operation here. Yeah, I appreciate the invite, man. Back, Always enjoy it. These guys have had a, went almost 100% success for deer this year, and uh, you're gonna see a lot of bucks when you do a hunt with these guys. You know what, I know JJ, you guys do a lot of different type of hunting up here. What, what kind of stuff do you offer? Well, we've got uh, everything from, from the best of the best for sheep hunting and uh, bighorn, bighorn rams and uh, archery elk, rifle elk in the wilderness camp, late season elk, and of course our deer, um, a real affordable hunt with uh, tags that you can get every year and uh, come out for five or seven days, hunt in the wilderness or hunt from town, and uh, you're gonna see bucks like this. Most everybody's gonna kill one. Fantastic. I came in here and I did the wilderness hunt with JJ, which is, you know, back in here about 10 miles on some great horses. We had just a fantastic time, saw lots of deer. These are some of the same deer they are migrating out. We're a little farther, closer to town now. Um, I like staying in town doing the town hunt. If, if you don't want to rough it and have all that stuff, you can stay in a in the Irma Hotel, which is Buffalo Bill's Hotel. Tons and tons of history there. Uh, the town of Cody is just absolutely fantastic. It's got some great restaurants in it, and I thoroughly enjoy staying in town, get to sleep in a warm bed every night, and get to take a shower, go back and eat some good food, have a few toddies, and uh, you know, you come back out, you're an hour horseback ride in into an area like this where you're seeing bucks. I mean, this morning you said we'd be done by 10. I think it was 10.05 before we were done, so missed it by just a hair, but you know, what a great experience. Well, I'm here in northwestern Wyoming with my good muley buck that I just took this morning. I'm shooting a Browning X-Bolt. You know, I've been carrying a custom gun here for about 10 or 12 years, and a couple years ago they came out with the Browning X-Bolt. I finally picked one up. This gun will outshoot any one of my custom rifles. Sub half inch groups at 100 yards. I've got it topped with a Vortex Viper Scope. I just made a great shot on this buck at 380 yards, one shot, one kill, high shoulder shot. You saw him roll down the cliff. Just, this is a great gun. I'll tell you what, I'll never go back to a custom. I'm gonna shoot my Browning X-Bolt with 300 short mag till I'm done. Hey, that was super exciting for me. I hope you enjoyed it as well. You know, it's not usually my recipe to get it done on the second day. I'm usually the guy that gets it done on the last light of the last night but it was super fulfilling to me to get a good buck, a mature buck, get it on film, self-filmed it myself, and share it with a good friend like JJ. It just, it just didn't get any better for me. But getting it done on the second day gave me the ability to walk around Cody, Wyoming and see all the local history, which is just world class. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Sportsman's News Television. I know I sure enjoyed bringing it to you and hanging out with my good friend JJ at Wapiti Ridge Outfitters. Whether you want to hunt elk with a bow or you want to hunt them with a rifle during the rut, you get lucky enough to draw a premium sheep tag or you just want to hunt mule deer like I did, it doesn't matter. JJ's one of our platinum approved outfitters and we endorse him because he's good at what he does and he's a great outfitter. One thing you should know about this deer hunt is it's usually underdrawn, which means if you get to July, you haven't got a deer hunt and you still want to hunt, there's a chance you can still get a tag and still get a last opening with JJ. Regardless what it is, you won't be disappointed. Give JJ at Wapiti Ridge a call for your next great Wyoming adventure. While you're at it, log on to sportsmansnews.com at www.sportsmansnews.com. Don't forget about our gun and gear giveaway. We're giving away a gun every 30 days and lots of gear between now and the end of 2011. Some of that gear could be yours. Log on and start participating in our forum. Till then, we'll see you on the next episode of Sportsman's News Television.
Sportsman's News Television is sponsored by Barnes Bullets, Unleaded, Unfailing, and Unbeatable. Vortex Optics, the force of optics. CBA muzzle loaders, it's just a better gun. And Sitka, turning clothing into gear.